The County of Ventura offers electronic filing of assessment appeal applications online. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions for filing an application. To begin, navigate to www.ventura.org forward slash OAA. New users will need to register and create an account. See our video called Creating Your Assessment Appeal Online Account and Logging In for step-by-step -step instructions on creating your account. A link to this video is available below in the YouTube video description. Returning users can sign in with their email address and password by entering it and clicking Sign In. If you'd like to duplicate a previously filed application or a previous application in progress but not submitted, simply click the Copy button to duplicate it and check the boxes that you would like to duplicate on your application. This is helpful if filing for multiple properties or for multiple years for the same property. Clicking Copy Application will create a new application and you can fill in the information that was not copied over. You can also create a new application from scratch by clicking the button Click Here to start a new application. The first step is to search for the property that you are appealing. The best way to search is by entering the assessor parcel number listed on the notice of assessment you receive from the assessor. If you do not know your assessor parcel number, you can search by property address using as little information as possible. We recommend entering only the street number and the street name and seeing the search results before narrowing it down any further. Once you've entered the applicable criteria, hit search for property, and you'll be provided a list of properties that meet that same criteria. Then hit select to select the property that you wish to appeal. Verify that the information appearing on the screen is the information for the property that you own or are appealing. If this is not the correct property, you can search for a different property. If this is the correct property, select next to continue. Now select the type of assessment being appealed. If appealing current year's assessment, which can only be done between July 2nd and September 15th of each year, select regular assessment. If you are not appealing the regular annual assessment, select the type of assessment that best matches the letter you received from the assessor's office. If you're appealing anything other than the regular assessment, you're required to upload a copy of the letter you received from the assessor's office. A photo of that notice or a scanned PDF is sufficient. Once the type of assessment has been selected, click Next to continue. You'll now be asked to enter the value on the roll, which is the assessed value that you're appealing, and enter your opinion of value, which is the, what you want the assessed value changed to. You are only required to provide a total opinion of value, but you can also break the value down by category if you choose. Exemptions amounts are not appealable through the assessment appeal process and only the assessed value pre-exemption will be reviewed. Therefore, there is no place to enter exemption amounts and those should not be entered into your application. This includes homeowners exemptions. If appealing an assessment penalty, you should provide the information in the form of a percentage. However, if you are appealing a dollar amount penalty, check the box Fixed Amount. It is important to note only penalties assessed by the assessor's office can be appealed. Penalties due to late or delinquent property tax payments cannot be challenged through the assessment appeal process. The next screen will ask for the applicant's contact information. First, check the drop-down list for a list of applicant names already associated with your email address. Selecting an existing applicant record or click Create a new applicant to start a new record. Selecting existing applicant record ensures all appeals for the same applicant remain tied together over time. An applicant can be the property owner, a spouse, parent, or child of someone who owns a property, a company that owns or leases a property, a trust, or any other person or party affected as defined as a party affected under California State Board of Equalization's Property Tax Rule 301G, which is available in the instructions section. 
Once your information is entered, ensure to select who you are in relation to the applicant, as if you own it or a relative of the owner or some other scenario. Then click Next to proceed. On the next screen, information for third-party representatives of the applicant will be collected. This may be a professional tax agent, attorney, or other third party that will be handling the appeal on behalf of the applicant. Representation is optional. Click Next to continue without a representative. Choose an existing representative contact record from the drop-down list or create a new agent representative record if the desired representative does not appear. If authorization of agent is required, upload a copy of the signed authorization of agent form. Due to the requirements of the California Business and Professions Code, authorization of agent forms may be copies but must be pen signed. When continuing to step six, enter the reasons for filing the appeal. The most common selection is box A to request a decline in your assessed value because you believe the market value for the current year is actually less than what the assessor determined. If challenging a base value, box B1 or B2 would be selected to challenge an assessment created due to a change in ownership of the property, including challenging new purchase assessments and reassessments due to family transfers and deaths. To challenge value added for new construction, select an option under C. Information on additional options available below in the instructions. Once all applicable reasons for appeal are selected, click Next. Step 7 will ask you required questions that will determine how your assessment appeal application will be resolved. First, indicate whether or not written findings of fact are requested. Written findings of fact are a legal document that describe the Assessment Appeals Board's methodology, reasoning, and final decision when your assessment appeal is heard at an Assessment Appeals Board hearing. This document costs $100 for properties valued less than $200,000, $150 for property valued over $200,000. Payment is not required until the day of your hearing if necessary. Written findings of fact are not available if you later choose to have a hearing with the hearing officer. Next, designate your application as a claim for refund. If you mark yes and your application is designated as a claim for refund, upon successful appeal reduction, you'll automatically be issued a refund by the county auditor controller. If you mark no, you could be required to do additional paperwork before your refund comes due. However, a yes selection on claim for refund limits you to a six month period to file a suit in Ventura County Superior Court after your appeals board hearing is held should the appeals board not rule in your favor and you wish to challenge that decision. A no answer gives you six months after the appeals board renders a decision to file a claim for refund with the county assessor's office and then six months from the decision on the claim for refund to file your suit in Superior Court. In most instances, yes is an appropriate answer. Lastly, select your hearing type. The Assessment Appeals Board is a three-member panel that hears all property types, including homes, businesses, boats, aircrafts, and commercial enterprises. The three-member board meets in a formal setting and hears the applicant and assessor's presentations, asks questions, and then makes a decision amongst the three board members as to what the property value should be. The hearing officer is available for any residential property or any property valued under $500,000. The $500,000 limit does not apply to residential properties. However, if you requested written findings of fact, you must have a hearing with the Assessment Appeals Board. Findings of fact are not available with the Assessment Appeal Hearing Officer. On the next screen, select the option that best describes your status as the person who completed the application. In this instance, I'm going to select that I'm the owner. Then click Next to proceed. You'll now be asked to certify under penalty of perjury that the information you have provided on this application is correct to the best of your knowledge. Enter your name and the city and state you were in when electronically signing the application. You can draw your own signature, 
using a computer mouse or stylus, or if you do not have the ability to draw a signature, you can click the button to create a computer generated signature. If you don't like the signature, you can go back and change it. If you draw your own signature, you click accept signature and then click next to proceed to the final submission stage. Before you submit, you can review a PDF of your application to make sure all information is correct by clicking Review Application before submitting. A draft copy of your application will be generated and displayed on the screen. Review all information carefully. Close the screen when you're done reviewing your application. If your application is complete, hit the Submit Application button. The clerk of the board will not receive or have access to your application until you've clicked the Submit Application button. Your application has been submitted. You can return to the dashboard and it will appear in the Submitted Applications section. Once the clerk of the board has received and accepted your application, which may take several days as we receive applications and review them in the order they are received, your application number will appear, appear here. In addition, you'll get a confirmation email within 10 minutes of submission that confirms we received your application. You can open up the PDF for proof of receipt. This PDF will have a date stamp of the date and time we officially received your application and your electronic signature. You can save this for your records. The application number will not be listed on the application as we do not assign it until after the application has been reviewed by clerk of the board staff. If you lose the email, you can get a copy of your application anytime by going to the dashboard of your account and selecting View. You'll see all information you've entered, and in box 10, you can click to print an additional copy or download your application. We hope you find the Online Assessment Appeal Application System helpful in filing and managing your assessment appeal applications. Visit www.ventura.org forward slash OAA to begin using the system. For additional information and services regarding assessment appeals in Ventura County, visit our website at www.ventura.org forward slash COB forward slash AAB. Additional links are available in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.